Hello everyone, it's my great honor to be here to share our paper DN Dieter. DN Dieter follows detection transformer and introduces denoising training to a serial convergence, which is simple, effective, and can be easily plugged into Dieter like models. First, I will briefly introduce Dieter. Dieter fully utilizes the transformer for object detection and adopts a set prediction objective with biparty matching. It can be end-to-end -end trained and has attracted the interest of many researchers. However, it faces two main challenges. The first one is its unclear query understanding, as data formulates queries into high-dimensional vectors. The second one is its slow convergence. As an evidence, data needs 500 epochs to get a good performance. Our previous work, Dab Dieter, explicitly formulates the positional queries of Dieter into 4D anchor boxes. This positional formulation helps the model co to converge faster and achieve better results. Therefore, we follow Dieter, Dab Dieter and ask this question, can we make training even more faster? For example, the traditional CNN-based models can achieve a good performance in 12 epochs, while Dieter-like models still need 15 epochs. We present an interesting view that points the slow convergence to the unstable by party matching. As we can see in this picture, after parameter updates, the matching results may change a lot between different epochs. In addition, the by party matching is not derivative, therefore we cannot directly learn it to stabilize the matching. The ma this matching inconsistency makes the model training unstable and results in slow convergence. To make matching more stable, we propose denoising training with anchor box reconstruction. As Dabdita has formulated position queries into 4D anchor boxes, therefore we first try to directly feed ground truth boxes into the decoder and train the model to predict the original ones. As we already have the ground truth boxes, the model can directly predict without biparty matching, which is a shortcut to the boxes for the model. However, this task is too easy for the model. Therefore, we add noises to the boxes, like shifting and scaling, and train the model to reconstruct the ground truth boxes. This is also similar to the detection learning process, in which the model is trained to regress the accurate boxes from the inaccurate boxes predicted by the previous layers. This is the detailed components of our model. The left part is the encoder, and the green part is the original detour decoder with biparty matching. On the left of the decoder, we additionally feed ground truth bounding boxes and labels with noises into the decoder and train the model to reconstruct the original ones, which effectively reduces the biparty matching difficulty. For example, we add noises to boxes like in the right part, the red box is the ground truth, and the blue ones are the possible noised boxes. We can also use multi-group denoising to add different noised versions for efficiency, like the different blue noised boxes. We also use attention mask to prevent information linkage from the denoising part to the matching part. As we only use the matching part during inference, we analyze the training instability with the factor IS, which is the matching difference of the same image between two epochs. The lower the value is, the better the matching consistency is. As we can see, the integer effectively reduces the instability compared to Dieter and Dab Dieter. Then we can compare the performance of the integer with other models. The integer consistently outperform our models under different backbones. We also compare the 12 epochs performance of different models. Our model converges much faster than the previous digital like models and surpass the traditional convolution based de detectors. Finally, we show the convergence curve between DN Dieter and our baseline model Dab Dieter. We only use half, the e half of the epochs to achieve comparable performance. Thank you.